Hey guys, having some serious issues with the uh, holy EFI Terminator today. Um, it's weird when I turn this on, but yeah, I kind of stall on and off. I don't know, there seems like there's some sort of electrical issue. The only thing I did in the last couple days was uh, change the battery. But see how things just flipping around like that? It's like it's not getting a good signal or something. Fuel pump comes on, but my coolant temperature and my manifold air temperature sensors are fluctuating all over the place, man. See that? See how it just it fluctuates from like 60 to 50 and it's giving some weird, uh, you know, signal to the computer that thinks it's like cold and, you know, enriches the thing or something. Not sure, but I'm stuck over here in this parking lot right now because it just keeps on stalling out on me, so. I have fuel pressure, so. I'm gonna just try to get this thing home and see what I can do, but I'm gonna put this on the whole EFI forms and see if the, see, see how the, the, down here, the mass air temperature sensor is fluctuating like crazy. And this also, the temperature sensor up here is fluctuating like crazy. So if it was just one, I would think, okay, well shit, maybe it's just a, see now it's going lean out, it's kind of starting to stumble out. Look at that. All over the place. So maybe if I can get this thing home and I see if I can maybe flash the firmware or, uh, you know, I did some tuning a couple days ago, so I don't know. Yeah, shit, stall out again, so. Fuck. Yeah, it's also having issues when it's trying to find the CPU. It's like it takes a long time for the CPU to. I don't know if it's not getting the right power. Let me turn this on again. So it has issues. It's 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 intermittent. Trying to find this freaking uh, the ECU. So sometimes I turn it on. And it can't find the ECU, so I'm, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna unplug it from the battery for a couple minutes to like fully reset it, see what happens. But this sucks. You know, I'm stuck in a parking lot, so I'm stuck. So I, I pulled the power out of the ECU, the main power, and I like reset all these connections. And these are like my, my those are my fuses and relays and different. It's kind of messy up there, but different areas in there. But yeah, very freaking annoying here. So. I hope I get home. Alright guys, I'm driving. This thing just kind of stalls out and sputters out, but look at the, uh, the computer there. I hope I keep it steady for you. Look how sl it just fluctuates everywhere, and it's just very sluggish. I mean, everything is like the readings are super slow on that thing, so... Yeah, take a look at that, dude. That's, that's, that's a nightmare. I'm barely getting home. I've already stalled out like five times. So, what the fuck? Yeah, dude, this is... Luckily this is here, you know, basically at sea level where I live and not in the freaking mountains 50 miles in. So this is actually one of my concerns when I convert, convert to fuel injection. With it, it's a million times harder to troubleshoot and you have a million different things that can go wrong with it. Sensors, I don't know man. It's sketching me out here. I gotta figure out, maybe I just, uh, see now we go, I'm almost stalling out again. So yeah, it looks like I'm pulling to my house right now, so. Guys, check this thing out. Look at the, uh, I'm not running the car, just sitting here, I'm in my driveway now, I got home. And, uh, look at the voltage on this thing. It's crazy, so I'm probably gonna, I guess I'll check the, the leads. I know this is a brand new battery, not unless the battery's freaking crazy or something, but... I'm gonna put my multimeter on the battery to see what's happening, but... Uh, now it's some sort of like internal short in the battery, because really, the only thing I really changed, well... I did a little programming on the decal, but... Um, yeah, that's weird, man. Look, look at the coolant temperature sensor. All that shit. Whacked. I mean, look at it. There's even duty cycle going on right now. The car's not even running. So, fuel pressure's low. Well, well, it's going down. What the hell? It's whack. All right, so I have my multimeter set up, and I tested the power. At the main, it's steady here. And then originally, what I'd set up was to um, I separated the input power with a relay to to make it and it goes directly back to the battery to make it as clean as possible to prevent interference. And so that's what this kind of area is here. This that's for the key power. And I measured the uh, voltage. I was good here at the key. This actually this white and red wire, you can see it right there, actually feeds back into this harness right here. So that's actually the key switch power, which 
turns the thing on. And it's clean and steady there. You know, it's like a 12.65 and, or 12.59, I, I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, so these were actually both clean and steady. And the battery, I, I, I did a multimeter test of the battery and we're good there. And uh, but yeah, still look at the uh, ECU. It's fluctuating like crazy. So it's not just some of their short somewhere in a wire somewhere, but yeah, I don't see it. And I've been, I've been moving wires around, thinking maybe like a wire got cut through maybe or something. And I don't see anything. So yeah, the fuses are good. Yeah. Whacked, 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 whacked. All right. Yeah, it's weird. So it, it, the voltage seems stable now. Everything seems very stable now. But what's weird is it, it seemed like it was stable once I plugged my tablet back in. So I decided to do like a firmware upgrade. I'm not really doing a firmware upgrade. I'm just basically, you know, reflashing the uh, CPU, ECU, with the same firmware. So I was thinking maybe that got corrupted or something, possibly. Um, I mean, I work in IT, so I mean, I'm used to troubleshooting these sort of problems. You know, firmware related problems. Um, okay. Well, I'll let this go and see what happens. But yeah, it's funny. It's I hook up, hook up the tablet. Now my little USB connection down here, and it uh, all of a sudden stabilizes. So pretty odd. Yeah, but I can't deal with these sort of issues if I'm freaking 50 miles in the mountain, man. So yeah, now I'm a little worried. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. Looks like it's. Uh, successfully updated. I'm going to reboot this thing and we'll see what happens. Alright, and I'm going to uh, sync this up to this ECU. Okay. All right, I'll play with this, get this going. We opened up my global catalog file and I sent it to the ECU. I'm gonna reset this one more time. And hopefully, oh, I gotta, I gotta do the calibration. The, uh, what's it called? The uh, freaking uh, throttle position sensor. Okay, let me get back and do that. Alright guys, um, yeah, every time I have to do like an auto reset, it always, I always have to mess with the uh, tuning just a little bit, but, because right now it's, it's stuck in one. That's one thing that always sucks about this Terminator, is getting this freaking uh, throttle position sensor set, but um, that's not a big deal, but actually, with the good, I guess the good thing is, that, is the uh, cool and temperature sensor isn't jumping everywhere. I mean, I guess we'll see. I'm going to drive this for a while and see what happens, but... Yeah, that's... Now I'm a little bit worried about this device, so... Alright, cool. We'll see how it holds.